Hey YouTube, Milma here with another Xcode tutorial. In this Xcode tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to push the dog view or push a new view into screen. Uh, but I'm also going to be using something called NS Dictionaries, which you probably saw in the title. Now, um, I'll get to that later. Uh, but basically, what we're going to be doing, as you know from before, we have a snake array, cat array, and dog array. Now, that means we're going to have to create a new view for every single dog a new view for every single cat, and new view for every single snake. So if we've got three dogs, we need three views just for the dog. What NS Dictionaries are going to do is going to help us uh, make sure that we only need one view, not just for all the dogs, but one view for every single item we've got. Alright, so first thing we need to do is create our detail view controller. So I'm going to call this Pets Detail View Controller. So create a new file here. So in here we're going to need to put a couple of outlets. So I'm going to type all that out and uh, I'll be back to you in a minute. Alright guys, I'm back and as you can see I have our four things here. Now I'll explain why we have these four things now. Basically we have our two outlets here. There's the image views and the labels. Uh, and now what we also need to do is create a string. And this string is going to be used in our NS dictionaries in our other thing. And we're going to set these strings from our other file. And then we're going to tell those these things to equal those strings. So that's why we've made a property of them. Because when we make a property of them, we can use them in other files. So that's why we've made two strings. One string, which is the image string, is going to hold the name of the image. So when they click on a row, it's going to tell this string what image it's going to appear. Then the string will tell the image what image to show. So it's kind of like a link in link thing. So the reason we've got these warnings here is because I haven't synthesized them. So go into the .m, go into here, and we're going to add synthesize our pet image string and pet label string. And in the view did load, we need to do a couple of things to make sure that these images that we've set in our, as our outlets are going to be set. So I'm going to type that out, and I'm back in a bit. All right, guys, I'm back, and as you can see in the view did load just down here. I have just put two lines of code here. The first line sets the image that's going to be on our view. So the pet image dot image equals the UI image image named, and then it's going to be the string that's going to be set in our other view controllers. Then I've also set the text of the label. Now suppose you're probably asking me now why are we setting the text of the label to a string when the label itself can be a string. Well that's because later on the code gets a bit weird and it doesn't allow me to use a string because I have to allocate it to an NS string. So that's why you use a string for the label as well. Now this can work for all sorts of stuff. So if you want to load a website for instance when they click on it, you can set this string to equal the string of the website and then just go UI web view, load website and then this string. So now what we need to do, we need to go into the dot H of our pets table view controller and we need to create one thing and this thing is going to be a void. Uh, so I'm going to create void and I'm going to call it make um, make data, just that, uh, data, like that. Um, and basically what this void is going to do is it's going to create all our views and all our dictionary, I mean it's going to create all our arrays and it's going to set the objects of the dictionaries or the NS dictionaries in those arrays. So if we go into the .m here, you can see in our view did load we've already created our arrays here. But what we're going to do now is just type in here in the view did load self and then make data. So that's going to, when the view loads, it's going to call our void method make data. And in our void method, we're going to get these arrays and we're going to set the dictionaries to them. So because of that, we don't need this line, these lines of code in here anymore. We don't need them. So I'm just going to cut them out. Then I'm going to go down here. I'm just going to create a new, I'm going to create our void that we made, which is make data void. And I'm going to retype them in here, but I'm going to type them slightly differently with their dictionaries. So I'll type all that out because it does take a long time to do. And uh, I'll be back with you in a second. All right, guys, I'm back. And as you can see, uh, I have quite a lot of code here and it probably looked a bit confusing to you. First off, we give our arrays some memory. So we allocate and in, in, initiate them. So just dog array, NS mutable array, alloc in it, and same with all these. So that gives it some memory to allow us to add objects to it. So down here you can see I've just labeled them with some quotes here, some uh, line things, I don't know what they're called, but yeah. This basically means dog array add objects 
like before we added the dogs objects. And uh, it's going to be an NS mutable dictionary this time, alloc. So to open two brackets, NS mutable, this basically adds a dictionary. Then the dictionary is going to have some objects and it's going to have some keys. So if you think about it, a dictionary, what's a normal dictionary do? You look up the word and then you get the definition for it. So that's what it is. Objects is the description and keys are the word. So what do you do in a dictionary? You look for the key, the word, then you get the object, the definition for it. So that's what this is doing. So as you can see here, we've got dog1, that's our object, and then we've got the key to grab that object, and that's name. So you do this in two stages. You go at quotes, dog1, which is the name, and then comma, the key. Then another comma, then your next object, then the key for that object, then another comma, then the next object, then a key for that object. So as you can see, we have our three things here. We have the name, which is going to be the name of the cell. So therefore, dog1, name. Then we're going to have the image. So that's dog.png, and that's going to be image. And then he said it, smile, blah -de blah description. Now that will become clear when you actually see the image, but yeah. So what I'm going to do here now is just quickly drag in these images that I have here. So, and then we do the next thing. So once that's done, we go comma nil, close two brackets, and then we do it again. So dog array, add object, dog2, name, dog2.png, and then it's a different description. As you can see here, the keys are exactly the same, and that's for a reason, because we want the keys to be the same, but we want the content to be different depending on the cell. So when we call name, we want it to look at the object, and if the object equals dog2, then it will show dog2. Therefore, we only need one view, and it will change depending on which, ob which uh, object it's looking at, but the dictionary keys will stay the same. So as you see here, we've got name, image, description, name, image, description, name, image, description, name. and it goes all the way through all these dictionaries. It'll become clear later when it kind of all comes together. Um, so that's that. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go down to the cell for row at index path, because uh, we actually changed this slightly, because now we don't have these in our arrays anymore. We can't call this an array because it doesn't exist, but we can call for the key name. That's why we have it. So what we're going to do here, we're just going to, I'm just going to quickly rename, uh, sorry, uh, retype all of these, uh, and I'll be back to you in a minute. All right, guys, I'm back, and as you can see, I've just edited the end of this. Instead of retain, we're going to ask for the object for key. So this basically goes, okay, I'm going to look in the dog array, then I'm going to go for the object at index, index path.row. I am going to look at the row that was clicked, um, I mean the row that I'm looking at, and then it's going to look for the key name. So if we go up here, we scroll up here, we have a look, go into the dog array, and then look for the key name, and then go to the object dog1. So that will basically mean the first one would equal dog1. Then if we go back, then the second row, I'm going to look for the key name, and now it's going to equal dog2. So as you can see, this is why we need the keys to be exactly the same. So name here, name there, but different object. So that's why this is here. So that's the same for everything. And now we're going to do our actual pushing views. So to actually do this, we need to go down to the method called did select row at index path. And we're going to delete the green asterisk uh, slashes so we can actually make this editable. So in here, this is where our dictionaries really come into play. And this is where our strings come into play from our first view controller. So I'm going to type all of this out. Uh, and then I'll come, I'll be back to you in a minute. All right, guys, I'm back, and as you can see, I've typed out a lot of code in here, but I'll make it clear for you. First of all, we create an instance of our pet's detail view controller, which, by the way, we need to import. So if we go right up to the top here, you can see I've imported my pet's detail view controller.h. Now this is important because it won't know what you're talking about, and you'll just get errors. So make sure you do this. So going back to the code here, so we've made an instance of this and we've called it pets detail and we've just used the normal initiating code here to get its stuff. And then using this, we can now get the strings we made from the other one. So as you can see here in my first if statement, checking to see if it is dogs, uh, sorry, I just got 
Twitter and an email. Um, anyway, so if statement here, checking to see if it's a dog. If it is a dog, then it's going to go pets detail, the view we just got. Then it's going to go to the pet image string. Remember that we made, we allocate, uh, we gave it a property, so now we can use it. And then we go equals NSS string alloc to give it some memory. Then it goes in it with string, and then it's going to navigate to the object in the dictionary. So basically, we're going to set the string of the image, therefore setting the image itself to the image key. So depending on the row clicks, it will go to the image key. So if we scroll up a second, we look at our things. Image key for the first one is dog.png. And then if we scroll down, our second line here is doing the same thing, but looking for the description key. So the description key is the second one here. And you can say it says he said it, smile, and then a nice smiley face there. So if we scroll down again, and our final and third line is the title for the uh, for the navigation bar at the top because that will just say nothing otherwise it will just be a blank navigation bar which will look a bit silly so what we're going to do we're going to again navigate it to the name so we can have the name dog one at the top um, so yep yeah. and then this is the same exact same code for uh, the other two statements which checks if it's a cat with the integer one and checks if, if it's a snake for integer two now the only difference is, instead of looking in the dog array like it does here, it looks in the cat array and it looks in the snake array here. So make sure you don't forget to change those bits there, um, otherwise it will just fail. And then our final bit of code actually push it, pushes the view on the screen. So this is what this does, it uses the navigation controller to push the pets detail view. And of course it releases it, because releasing is important. Okay, so that's all that done. Now all we need to do is go into the view controller of our pets detail view. Okay, so in interface builder here, all we need is a label and an image. So I'm gonna drag those out, set up all the fonts and stuff, um, and then I'll be back to you. So see you in a bit. All right, guys, I'm back. And as you can see, I've just dragged an image view in here and a label in. Um, I've just set the label to center and changed its size to 25, and I've just dragged it across the whole screen. So now what we need to do is just connect them. So if we go over to files owner here, hold down control and drag to our image view, let go and select the pet image and then do the same for the label just select pet label so that should be our entire app done now i'm just click build and run and i'll see you in a bit when it's built all right guys i'm back and as you can see uh, here's our app here and we can select dog and then you can see our cells work perfectly fine with the new dictionaries and then as you can see if we click on dog one we come over here we have our nice dog image here specified to that specific dictionary with our nice title here of dog1 and the description says dog.png uh, hold on I'll just go bug fix a sec ah yes I'm such an idiot uh, I put pet image string here when it should actually be pet label string um, silly me uh, hopefully you don't make that mistake as well alright so I'm back and hopefully it should work this time there you go he said it smile d um, so you can see that specified to its own dictionary and you can see here's our second dog picture and uh, New title new picture and new description. Uh, we can go back We can go to the cat one and as you can see it now says cat helmet cat blah blah blah, blah and the snake one Unfortunately, I couldn't find a, a funny snake picture, but there you go random snake one So as you can see we only need one detail view and we can create a variety of different views using just one view using this new NS Dictionary method. So I hope that helped. Hope you can use NS Dictionaries not just in your table views, for the, but for other stuff as well. Um, next tutorial will be on sections and how to create sections in your table views. So like in the settings app, there are different sections for the, uh, for the brightness and the images, then for the plane and Wi-Fi stuff. So go check that out there when it comes out. If my computer can load, there you go. Um, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, comment, and follow me on Twitter. Pop up ads should come up at the bottom here. And don't forget to click on certain ads that pop up in some of my videos because that also helps as well. So again, thanks for watching and see you in my next tutorial.